Hello everyone, this video assumes that you already have the Smart Online Order application installed and you want to learn how to make quick changes to it, okay? So I'm going to go very fast in this video. If you need a slower step-by-step -step video, please watch the other videos on YouTube or click on the description below and click on one of those videos there, okay? So I'm going to go very fast. I'm going to cover all the steps so you can get your online order uh, up and ready uh, very, very quickly. So. As you can see, this website has the Smart Online Order. This one has a Smart Online Order. This one also has a Smart Online Order. And this one also has a Smart Online Order. You're probably wondering how are these websites the same application because it looks so different from each other. The reason being is because Smart Online Order is very customizable and you can change it and make it appear different uh, based on the settings we offer you, the store interfaces. I'm going to cover all those right now, okay? So first thing you want to do is log into the back end of your website. And the way to do that again is uh, you would, you know, go to your dashboard and let me show you what the dashboard looks like. If you need to know how to get to your dashboard, there's other videos that shows you how to do that. This video is going to go very quickly uh, because um, I speak with some, mer some merchants. Some of them are very busy and they need something very quickly. So this video is going to uh, solve, uh, help, help those merchants or developers that want to get set up right away. So here's the dashboard. This is the back end. What you would do is you press Clover Orders, Settings. Okay, from here is where you make 99% of your changes from the settings right here. Okay, so I'm going to go very quickly. So, key settings uh, when you get your online order, you'll see it's valid. You don't have to worry about this. Next thing you want to do is import inventory. You'll notice that your inventory is already imported because you'll see the st statistics here. Next step is manual sync. Manual sync uh, only use this if you have made changes after your inventory has been imported, okay? So you you will frequent this uh, setting often. So if you change your modifiers, just press update modifiers, refresh your website and you'll see those changes. If you change your taxes, just press update taxes. Again, it doesn't hurt to do this as many times as you need to do it. It's not gonna affect your website. So feel free to uh, do this daily, weekly, monthly, if you feel like you made changes. If not, just leave it the way it is. Clean inventory, only use this as a last resort uh, if you have deleted items from your inventory, maybe 20, 30, 40 of them, and you notice 30 or 40 of them, and you notice they're still there, use clean inventory. If you don't want to, uh, the faster way actually to do it would be just to click on the items and, and hide it from the website. But if you have a lot and you don't want to hide it individually, then use clean inventory. Okay, next step, order types. When you install Smart Online Order, the first thing you want to focus on is the order type, because if you're not do, doing delivery, then press edit, and hide the delivery, okay? Just press disable, that's how you do that. Okay, so let's go to the next step. Uh, if, you are order, if you are offering additional order types, feel free to add it right here. If you are offering online order curbside pickup, just add online order curbside pickup. It's very easy, just add that, and then just like delivery order, uh, no, because curbside pickup, and then taxable, you know, depending on your location, you can select that and then press add, and then it'll be enabled. Next step, categories and items. This is very important because if you are offering alcohol, cigarettes, or something that can't be sold online, you can hide it. So uh, like in this case, cakes, this is how you hide it. This is visible, this is hidden. So just click on it, it'll be hidden. Okay, you can add a picture to it. You can add, uh, you can change this name right here. Let's say plates, you want to call it something else, press edit name and change the plates name. Okay, and if you want to see, if you want to rearrange it, if you want to put plates on the top, just move it up. If you want to put plate second, just move it down. If you want to see what items are inside plates, press the plus sign, and here are all the items that have plates. Plates. If you want shrimp basket to be first, just move it up. If you want it to be second, just move it down. You can reorder from here. Okay, everything can be reordered. Next step: modifiers and groups. These are your modifiers. Let's say you don't want you uh, you have chicken wings, but you want this to be selected first. Okay, you can move it up to the top. You can move it second. So for example, I can move chicken wings to the top. So what that's going to ask the customer is it, when they add chicken wings, it'll be the first option. I'll ask him, uh, you know, these questions here, such as drink flavor. They'll ask him, what kind of drink do you want? Again, if you want, if you want them to be asked pineapple crush first, put it to the top. Okay, you can rearrange that. You can also change the name. Okay, you don't have to press save changes after you do this. Just reorder it and then leave it there. If you don't want to offer fries, just hide it. If you do want to offer fries but not offer um, small, hide the small. Very simple. Next step. Again, I'm going fast uh, because just to kind of uh, help those merchants uh, want to get this going up, uh, up and running very quickly. So if you need something slower, watch the other videos. Check out settings. 
Checkout setting is important. Uh, enable, uh, this is important if you want your customer's order history to be saved. Enable login and checkout. It'll ask them to create an account, such as their username password. So when they log in next time, they can reorder their previous order. If you don't want that option, just disable it. That's optional. Payment options, okay. Pay online, of course, you want to en enable this. It's very rare that a customer disables this. So if you don't want them to pay with credit card, then disable it. If you want them to pay at the store only, then enable it. So for example, they are paying inside the store with, with uh, cash, check, credit card, whatever. This is pay at location, and that means they can't pay online. So you have to have at least one of these options enabled. So if you have all three of them disabled, your customer can't order. So you want to make sure at least one is on, okay? So in this case, they're going to accept credit cards, not pay at location. Pay at location is optional. Why? Because some customers may order online and may not show up. So um, again, that's up to you. So, so you can do that. Coupon codes. Yes, you can do coupon codes too. If you want to add coupon codes, enable it, and then click on coupons to make your coupon right here. See, right? I'm circling it. Service charge. Just as it, just as the name says, you can add a service charge. So, for example, if somebody orders catering or a soda or a drink or food. And the charge the total is 50 bucks, and you want to charge 5% a service fee, whatever you can do that. Put five here and then put percentage five, and you can charge a 5%, or you can charge them a flat fee of five bucks. Tips very important. Tips is good to have. If you are a restaurant, you can accept tips, so make sure it's enabled. If you don't see the option to, to allow tips, that means it's not enabled in your Clover. Enable in your Clover, come back here again, enable tips. It's good to accept tips. Verify with the SMS. Again, I highly recommend to leave this enabled because if you put disabled, that means your customers that are paying inside the store can just select pay at store and then they may not show up. So you want to have some kind of uh, confirmation that they are really going to show up. So it's up to you. Um, you know, Try for a week. If you notice people are not showing up after they order their food, then enable it. Uh, but if you notice that you're getting good results, uh, people want to quickly check out, disable it. Again, it's up to you. So make sure to press the I so you can see what these information is about. Special instructions uh, on the checkout page. Do you want people to see the special instructions? Yes or no? That means people is going to say extra napkin, extra sauce, extra, you know, whatever they ask for on your at your restaurant. If you don't want to do those kind of things, disable it. Thank you page. Leave this just the way it is. I noticed um, some merchants change it and then, and then their thank you page is not really nice. We made a really nice one, so just leave it the way it is. If you can make one better than, than ours, then go ahead and change it. But uh, ours is really nice because it thanks them. It tells them when their order is going to be ready for pickup. And it gives them a, a receipt uh, so they can click on the link. So I would highly recommend just leaving this one the way it is. Unless you can make one better than ours, then you can change it. Store settings. Okay, store settings important. Put your email here so you can get an email notification when a customer orders online. Remember, it all it already prints to your Clover. But if you want an email as well, go ahead add an email. If you want, if you want five people to get an email, you can do that. You can add up to five people. Okay, so you can add, you can have um, the manager, the employees, your cook, everybody get an email. But again, it's up to you. Cell phone. If you want to get text message, you can do that. You can put your phone number there. Track stock. If you are tracking stock, let's say you are selling. Uh, food or retail stuff or something you want to track stock you can do that if it reaches zero it'll say out of stock so make sure to have your inventory count high so people can order online this is very very important choose your store hours is available <clears throat> please choose the hours your store is available you have to add your business hours on clover okay so for example here business hours put your mouse over the eye if you see that it says closed for every single day then that means your business hours have not been set up so follow this instructions here and you can watch my other video to explain you why it's important to set it up like this. I will set it up like this and like this. Okay. Uh, and this is uh, that way your customers can choose a time. If you don't want them to choose a time, then just leave it like that. Okay. Just leave it the way it was. But again, uh, make sure business, business hours is important to have because if you don't have business hours set up, people are going to order middle of the night, two in the morning, and they, they think you're open well, well, and, and you probably close. So you want to add your business hours. Let's keep going down the list here. I'm going to go to the next section here. Uh, delivery areas and fees. Again, if you are doing delivery, uh, quickly add your delivery areas because you, when your website is live, people are going to go to your website and try to order delivery, and they're going to say, oh, we can't deliver because you haven't added your delivery zones. So um, just go in here, just make a quick one, and then later on you can figure out which areas you want to deliver to. But if you already know how far you're delivering to, just add it. I'm going to say five mile radius, uh, minimum order, Five bucks, delivery fee uh, two dollars, and draw the zone. Press this button, 
there you go five mile radius and then if you like that press validate selected zone and then press save changes again these are self-explanatory another video explains all these steps for example free delivery if you are offering free delivery if they order over like 50 bucks or 10 bucks you can waive this fee here so I can say hey um, if you order $30 you get free delivery so it'll give them that option fixed delivery if you don't want to draw a map and you offer fixed delivery everywhere then just put this one but if you draw a map make sure not to add the number here because it will override this one so for example if I have two dollars here and then I say hey, well you know what I'm gonna offer four dollars this will override this so it's either this or that you can't do both next one other zone delivery fees if your customer orders from this area here how much you want to charge do you actually want to charge a higher fee if they order from you know outside this area that's up to you but be careful because let's say you put five bucks and they order from way over here which is 20 miles away or 30 miles away then your customer expects that you're going to deliver to them so if you're not delivering the area leave this blank I mean sorry this one leave this blank again this is the name that appears on the receipt you can call it delivery charge delivery fee I, I recommend just leaving it the way it is next step store interface this goes back to the beginning um, where I had mentioned why this page this page this company sorry this business this business all have different looks it's because of this here it's because of the uh, store interface okay the store interface allows your customers choose different I mean allows you to choose different looks see this is store interface 4 which is this one uh, uh, this one is is this one see so you can choose which one you like you have five to choose from and we're gonna be adding more soon so keep just keep checking back here and you'll see more okay next one next option let's go right to it um, let's go back to settings here again I'm going fast so that way you guys can get right to it um, and start accepting online orders because there's other videos which covers each of these steps in more detail but I'm going uh, very quickly items images description this is very important because uh, if you want to add a if you want to add a description to an image let's say you are offering uh, a Florida let's see sandwich right here and and then you want to tell your customer what it comes with you can add that here say so you can come with this that 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 write it out okay and that will show on the on the on the order online page if you don't want to offer this uh, sandwich you can just hide it from the website right here hide from the website or if you're just temporarily out of stock for one day just put out of stock uh, that way your customers can see it on the website and then when they see out of stock they can say okay I'll just check back tomorrow it'll be available they can do that or if you want to add it add an image to it because your customers want to see what it looks like feel free to do that press this button right here add an image so you can do that and then you can also add a description to it as well okay and then for more, those of you that are more technical uh, see the other videos on how to use add to cart buttons okay next step um, let's go back to settings again we're almost there I'm trying to keep the video short and quick uh coupons uh again we discussed this earlier if you want to make coupons you click on coupons and then you just uh, add the coupons so uh but let me just show it to you anyway so you can in case you need to make a coupon just press add coupon and then just follow the steps here coupon name i can say um, online special give it a, just if you don't know what to call it just follow my example here and then you can change it later coupon code i would say um mm, summer special or winter special or fall special coupon code mean they have to enter this code in so if i say fall 50 they have to enter fall 50 to get this discount so if i for example if i put they get five percent off and they have to spend five bucks they have to enter this code in to get it they, it doesn't automatically give them the five percent off they have to know this code so you can take this code put on your instagram or facebook email to people so they can come to your website and order okay expiration date uh, starting date so if you want your coupon code to work for whole only one week or you want it to work uh, in in um, you know like two years from now or next month or whenever just select that time and then select the end date and that's it and then the, the coupon code will work for uh, that um, that time frame number of uses remember when you put zero that means people can use it again and again and again so let's say there's some you have a customer that keeps using the coupon code and again and again they can do that because you put zero if you want if you want to be limited if you the coupon code is only good for the first 100 customers put 100 here so the first 100 customers uses it and after that it's finished they can't use it no more okay and that's coupon codes I okay I think I covered everything here um, so let me just go back real quick I'm trying to keep the video short for those of you that are very busy um, yeah I believe I covered everything again if, uh, if you have questions uh, click on frequently asked questions that's all the answers here 
Uh, if you need more additional information, click on uh, go to YouTube and just type in smart online order and then and then specifically the question you may have, it's all there. Um, okay. And if you still need help after that, just give us an email or call us. Thank you for your time. I try to keep this as quickly as possible and I'm at 15 minutes. Thank you so much. Have a good day.